I don't think that you should have women should not be having kids. The later the better. Why? Because they're not going to compete with their daughters or their sons. They'll have a natural they'll have a, a natural wisdom about them about a lot of things. In fact, by the time they're forty five or forty six they have the most energy and stamina and they're at their peak of knowledge and wisdom and like I said, energy. Ask me, babe. I'm not a soccer mom, but I'm like, oh, this is soccer mom time. You have a lot of energy. Why? You have lived so much that now you know, and you've got it, baby. No? Well, I'm sorry that we can't relate, but that's the real way it is. Women are actually sexually peaking at this age. I have the firm belief, oh my God, we're getting way the fuck over here now, huh? <laughs> That we're supposed to be, I mean, our kids are probably older. They're in college now. We have not something to do. We do have something to do, and that is to teach people how to have sex. Of course. Um, I, I have a firm belief because men and men are sexually matured at what age? About 18 to 26. And then they start tapering off and do all kinds of weird problems. But we, we cause that's, that's very special speculative right there like why are you why are you really having erectile dysfunction is it because everybody is so fucking attractive anymore out there uh, yeah especially their personalities you know you just want to um, bang that all night and probably reproduce for it reproduce with it right no maybe with some alcohol i hear i hear doing alcohol really makes it easier <laughs> for 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 that you know oh god what a terrible fucking stupid subject matter. Why? 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 Well, we got, um, <sighs> personal issues, I guess. <laughs> What's this video about? I'm just trying to see. Pardon. Terrible. Do I, do I string this up? Maybe. I think that men should know. In July on the 18th. Precisely yeah. what I have just said. Nodes. Okay, this is about the nodes. I'm just Backwards. checking to see what the fuck I just talked about so I can type it on here. I've made some 600 and some odd videos. Well, a lot more than that, to tell you the truth. And a lot of it's going on unlisted lately. Um, but none of it I could care for at all. None of it. <laughs> People that don't have, don't have a mind of their own and they don't have any real taste for this. I didn't just say I don't have taste for myself. I'm an artist and there are times when you can't produce a single fucking thing and this has been going on for me for a while now. It's just, hello Neptune opposing my fucking Venus. Neptune and Pisces. You want to talk about Pisces? And, and how it's like, you know what, you can't just cake it on like that and keep mudding it up and think and call it art. After a while, you're going to have to go back to Virgo and say, is there something called skill? Yes. And we sweep that shit up and we clean it up and we look at it and say, is it something worth showing to God? <laughs> For God's sakes. We can question Pisces over there just mixing it up, man. Can you? That's just getting a little bit muddy over there. An alcoholic, by the way. Not the... Not that Virgo, see Virgo is the opposite of Pisces, and the Virgo, that's the mutable, see right now babes, we're having this mutable, um, I'm pretty sure it's a grand cross with, if you count the asteroid, no, it's the, it's the moon, coming up here, it's like happening now, Monday. I'm, I'm feeling it, you know, I can't, I can't sit dormant, you know, and just say, well, I just have to work tomorrow. I just have to, and I have my, me, 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 me. No, no, no. Life is too fucking short for that, babe. And a lot of, see, where Uranus is in Taurus, how it will affect the Earth's, the Earth signs and the people uh, uh, that are, um, that are ignoring, now, you know, the call. The call is Taurus, okay, so the people that would be more apt to ignore the call, well, besides for every single body, um, that would be, um, would be Leo Taurus themselves. Um, 
Scorpio, and Aquarius. These people have a constant kind of stress to change. Change is happening anyway, if you haven't noticed. It's a, it's a total flip upside down. Since about, well, give, seven years ago, something has been... It's, they call it the seven-year itch. They call it the seven-year itch. Well, that's associated with Uranus. Uranus usually takes around about seven years to, to whip on through. And that's when change, change, change. Uranus is the planet of change. It's a lightning strike. It's more powerful than the sun. We want to talk about that opposition. There's Leo and then there's Aquarius. Aquarius... Um, is the Uranus is the ruler of Aquarius, which Uranus is the, the planet of change. And, and we all love Aquarius coming up. It's like it's the dawning of the age of change, man. And they're like, what do you mean? Woo! I don't think that, see, now that I'm reflecting on it, like intuitively, like we never really experienced Pluto in Aquarius, but, and so us moons in Aquarius, and, and see, that's a hard aspect to have Pluto conjuncting your planet, especially the moon, but for Aquarius moon, now, I'm, I just dare to say, you know what, we don't mind all the change, we like all of the kind of, all of a sudden it flips up, upside down and backward, and it's like, well, didn't you know the truth? The truth was that, because, um, you see, Uranus, Aquarius, rules science. It rules real science. How? Why? Well, um, Uranus is, like I said, I just heard something strange. Anyway, Uranus is the sign of, is the planet of, um, it's 101 AM. It rules lightning. It rules the very, like what Tesla would say, is the very, it's the very um, element that holds all of the existence together. It's that. It's okay. So it's this uh, electromagnetic. It's electricity. It really does, and it rules electricity. So that's that's Aquarius. That's why it's so technological. I mean, it's pure science. I mean, really, what 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 is running that stuff is pure science. You have to know something of how to operate. The truth in reality, like the elements and the periodic scale of, of elements and, and what's happening with the protons and neutrons, I mean, stuff like this, like how do we do, did we do this? And so it's, um, they're working anyway somehow, but there's synthesization that's happening that man can do. And then so the light bulb is like a, a lighter version of all light, right? You know, kind of a trip, you know, what is it really? Um you know, as far as our um, interaction with it, um, vibrationally, our, our senses and stuff. But anyway, boy. With Pluto going into Aquarius, it's going to completely see Pluto is the destroyer of fake shit. It's the destroyer of non-truths. You know, it's, it's dreaded because um, it, it's not going to leave anything standing but the truth. That's going to be pretty fucking difficult in, in, in Aquarius. I mean, uh, Aquarius thinks it's a big old tra-la-la of neon lights and synthesized pleasure uh, pleasure zones or whatever. And, and it's true, though, that we can um, have breakthroughs that will, that will actually um, enhance our, our um, entire bodies, which isn't hard to say or do because it's like, Boy, do we need enhancing if you can find some way to speed up the process of getting back on track here because everybody is turned into sludge and slugs and generation jelly is what they call it. So we need healing, please. And, and there is going to be exposing, exposed to it. This is just what we've already known, you know, and that's what Pluto is going to do for us. It's like, by the way, do you want to go to the truth? No, because a lot of that will... Um, not only um, destroy a lot of the unhealth that's there that says, no, I'm more real than the, the healthy shit. It's going to go in, into the depths of the healthy people. And you're going to say, and, and you think you know something too, and, and, you know, it's going to turn everybody in, inside out and backwards. But anyway, I'm ready for it. A lot of people are. As far as who? Oh, us who have been just 
Hi, Jesus, is that you again? Yes, people like Jesus over there who says, Psh, you know what? I'm pretty sure you're all fucking mad. This is simple. You're under the influence of some fucking thing. It's truth. We can get as simple as we can. We can explain it to a five-year-old and we have little stories and it's like, man, you're not going to get it still. You're going to, you're going to kill the most recent scientist that stands up with a simple cure, especially if they're different. Um, and, and they appear like, well, you can't be doing that. It's like, well, yes, I can. And, and uh, gosh, hi, women. 